Hi, welcome to the get started part of this Apollo tutorial series. The first thing we'll do in order to get our own GraphQL server is to sign in via GitHub. So let's do that now. Authorize application. And you can see we're redirected back to the Learn Apollo page and this little green button in the bottom left hand corner appears. When we click this, we see that we have access to the data browser and the GraphQL panel. Additionally, our API endpoint URL is located in the top right corner of this panel. Great, now that we have a GraphQL server, let's go ahead and configure our local machine. I've already installed it on my machine, but if you haven't done it yet, you'll need to install npm or yarn, which is a package manager. Once you have npm or yarn, the next thing we'll do is download the example project. Okay, great. So now let's go ahead and download this to our desktop. Just double click to extract. And now let's cd into it. If we list the directories, we can see that we have all of the different exercises numbered with each exercise having a solution component to it too. As we're just starting now, let's go into exercise one. If we list the files, we can see that we don't have any of our dependencies installed yet. So let's run npm install or yarn install. And once it's complete, let's run yarn start or npm start. And great, we can see that we've just downloaded the example project that's been tailored to us, opened up our terminal to install the dependencies, and started it. And we can see it's rendering properly. Okay, so before we move on, let's have a quick look around the project just to familiarize ourselves with the code. I'm going to stop this process now and open up this directory in my code editor. So let's go ahead and open up the source directory. And we can see in index.js, this is the entry point of our app. We have the React render method, the roots passed inside, and the components we're rendering, in this case, Pokedex. Right now, our app is just a simple React app. So let's start by importing the Apollo client. Now that we've imported it, let's go ahead and connect it up to our GraphQL backend. So I'm just going to copy the code now to make things a little bit quicker. We'll need the client, which is where we specify the URL of our backend, and also we'll need to replace the React render method to include this Apollo provider where we pass the client in. Now in order to get our GraphQL backend URL to replace this field, let's go back, click our GraphQL server button, and click the little button that allows us to copy the URL. Let's go back inside and paste it in. And now we should be ready to run it again. So let's open up terminal, start the process, and we should see again successfully loading in. Okay, great. Now that we've downloaded the example and put in our own backend URL and hooked it all up with Apollo, we're all set to go and move on to the next stage. A quick note here, the example app you downloaded has already done this step for you and all the other examples, so you won't have to repeat this. We only did it now so that you understood how the process works and it doesn't seem like magic. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video where we deal with queries.